Good morning. My name is Royal, and uh, it's Monday. And you got a chance to wake up this morning and go, hey, it's Monday. I've got a great chance to make a difference in the world today and be different than I was last week. Or, oh my goodness, it's Monday again. The weekend's over. I've got to go back to work. That is your choice. That's your choice every single day. And, and we talked last week um, on Friday. We talked about the, um, you know, why do I keep slipping back into the old me all the time? You know, I know that God's changed me. I know that I'm a better person. I'm trying to do the right things, but I just keep doing the wrong things over and over and over again. And, and that's that battle between the old me and the you me. It's the spiritual battle that goes on. And, and the new me is led by the Spirit, and it's a whole lot different life. It's a whole lot better life. It's a life of contentment and hope and peace and patience and kindness, all of that. And uh, that's what we're looking at today, the second part of that in Galatians 5.22. And uh, why don't I open us up with the Lord's Prayer. Father in heaven, today may we keep your name holy above every other name. Would you give us what we need to be uh, what you want us to be. Lord, would you uh, forgive us of our sin and would you point out the things in our life we need to change that we're doing wrong so we can. Lord, uh, may we forgive those who hurt us so we're better and not bitter. Lord, would you protect us from the negative influences that are in our lives. And, uh, uh, and Lord, we will give you glory today for every single thing that happens, good or bad, because we know you want it to make us be the good for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So, how do you have that? Thank God it's Monday. I'm going to be the best person I can possibly be today. I want to be who God wants me today. It, it has to be Holy Spirit led. It has to be old Holy Spirit led. That's how the new me came. The new you came. It was a spiritual rebirth. Spiritual rebirth. So we've got to realize the Holy Spirit uh, produces certain things in our lives that um, that have to do with our attitude and the way we present ourselves. And, and the way we do that is we start off by worshiping God with everything that we do. We worship God with an attitude of gratitude and an attitude of giving God glory, an attitude of trusting God for everything. I think I'm going to talk about that a little bit tomorrow. Just being able to trust God with everything, no matter what happens, no matter what happens. Here's what Paul writes in Galatians 5, 22 and 23. He says, But when the Holy Spirit is leading you, when you allow, because the Holy Spirit is not going to make him lead you, when you allow the Holy Spirit to lead you, he produces this kind of fruit in your lives. Love, joy, patience, peace, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control there's no other law against these things wow that's what we want isn't it that's contentment that's peace what if in the middle of the what's normally the day-to-day -day stress of work and getting the job done and bringing in the revenue and keeping your job and all that you have peace and you have patience and you have kindness even to those who are competing against you or or just against you goodness and faithfulness that's life changing that's how you can wake up on Monday and go okay I'm going to change the world this week I'm going to start off by changing me and I'm going to change my attitude and I'm going to have a positive influence on the people around me it's a game changer. It's a game changer. Here's the prayer that I wrote for today for the scripture. Heavenly Father, today, Lord, I will stay in the new me. The new me led by you. I will worship you. I will give you the glory for the good and the bad. I will relax in your love, 
joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, and faithfulness. I will honor you in all I do and rest in my trust for you. <laughs> Are you ready for that? God, I will rest in my trust for you. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Man, I hope that's an encourager to start off this week for Monday. Uh, come back tomorrow. Uh, I'll be here, if the good Lord will, and the creek don't rise. Share this with others. Uh, make a comment if you like, and I'll reply. And uh, subscribe to this channel. And I do these Monday through Friday. Thanks so much for being here. Um, see you Monday. Until then, love God and love people. God will use you to change the world. I promise. God bless.